Thanks for playing uh, our music video here. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, hi everyone, my name is Sun Ye Min from The Wonder Girls. But you guys can just call me Sun, it's easy. Uh, first of all, I'm so glad to be here to have this opportunity to share my own experience and opinion about K-pop industry, which I work in. Um, let me briefly tell you about me and the Wonder Girls for some people here who might really not know about us. So, uh, we are five girls and originally from Korea. We debuted 2007 February and we've been together almost uh, five years now. So we are like sisters, we don't fight. Um, <laughs> since we debuted, uh, we gained success uh, really uh, quickly in two years in Asia. This was actually when we decided to come over to the States. Um, uh, uh, since we came here, the first thing we started here was study English. Uh, <laughs> because we all didn't know how to speak English back then. Mm. <laughs> And we also preparing for our U.S. debut. So we had a tour with the Jonas Brothers. We also had our own tour. Um, and also we released some singles here. And lately, we've done our own TV movie, 40 Minutes Away. So yeah, it was quite an amazing experience. Um, it's been a totally different experience in the States. Uh, U.S. music industry really helped us develop new style in our music for Korea and US. We are trying new things and really stepping outside of borders and comfort zone in K-pop. K-pop itself has been spreading so globally, as you all know. Uh, the internet has made it really easy to reach uh, new places and nations on this earth outside of Korea, finally. Uh, we are living in a world and time uh, where anyone can share and experience press anything so freely through the internet and K-pop travels around the globe so fast, especially in this way. K-pop has expanded uh, its horizons beyond everyone's imaginations and being a Korean in, uh, being a Korean in the K-pop industry, I feel so grateful and delighted about K-pop becoming more and more global these days. Not just across Asia, just as uh, but as K-pop was getting more uh, attention throughout Asia, even America started to um, glance their interest in K-pop, I guess. This is truly a good thing, I believe, um, because K-pop is, in a way, being used to push people um, out, out of their borders culturally and musically. American pop and music industry isn't everything out there. There are unique and talented artists of uh, different styles and forms that we need to explore. K-pop is at the forefront of engaging uh, different cultures through music. This is, uh, this is when I understood and realized the universal language of music. It's so amazing. I believe K-pop is doing its part in uniting different cultures as one in a light and fun way. Um, okay, one of my on, on cross-culture experience with music was in the States, the Wonder Girls brought our one of his songs, Nobody. You know the song? <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody but you. Yeah, it's kind of a catchy song and really easy to follow the lyrics and dances. Americans liked our song more than we expected. Mm, they were so welcoming us. So this made us be being more uh, comfortable standing um, here on this stage. And we felt uh, Korea was one with America for at least a moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> As you all know, Sai's Gangnam Style is also a very good example of a K-pop bringing cultures together. We see people from totally different cultures and countries dancing the same dance online. This is how powerful music is. But today, I actually uh, want to talk about the reality about K-pop. There are two things that I feel that is very um, kind of dangerous in the K-pop industry. First thing is, there are so many young people who debut at such a young age. Usually young people audition for becoming an artist these days. I also auditioned for our company when I was just 12 years old. And six years later, I debuted as the Wonder Girls. We have a training academy system in Korea. 
just like Motown in the past. Uh, we usually take vocal and dance lesson, even some language lesson too. Um, this kind of academic system is so common in Korea right now. But the problem is they debut at an age that is way too young. It's so easy for them to get disappointed in the reality of society at, at such a young age. Kids that age should be in school, attaining an education, and interacting with their other uh, friends their age. But there are many stressful things and so much pressure for uh, young kids in, the, in this industry. So one of the examples is people usually comment about, comment about what artists do even in their personal life. Artists are not free to live as normal people. Artists are judged uh, based on everything they do as an entertainer in this industry. Also because of their young age, they don't even understand the kind of lyrics sometimes they're singing. So rather than being artists who truly convey a message with their talents, they're, they are forced to become just entertainers to the audience. In K-pop, there is a dangerous culture um, where artists are solely entertainers. They produce music just to please the audience, even out of their own will. So, second thing is the second thing is the danger of the idol concept in K-pop industry. Mm, idol usually means. That is something or someone you not only look up to but even worship. You follow exactly what they do and want to become just like them. The reason why some artists in the K-pop industry are called idols is because young people of Korea, uh, Korea actually worship and want to be just like some of the young artists. However, um, the young artists sometimes don't even know the message they're giving. This can be dangerous in making new trends and influence in our young generation. The young people will always do whatever they so-called idols do. When uh, there is so much power of influence, it is always easy to use it in an evil or bad way as much as it is for good. We always must remember this um, as artists, not just entertainers. So. Um, as my personal experience, of course, I didn't know about the importance of power and influence of music. As a singer, when I debuted, I was also too young to think about this sort of thing seriously at the time. But as I grew up in this industry, I was realizing how important my job was more than I thought. When I get a letter from my fans, um, there are many people who said they consider me as their role model and even mentor. This is something I've never expected and also started um, realizing how powerful music can be as a tool of influence. Um, even people who are not Korean uh, could be influenced by us, our music, and what we do in our generation. So from a certain point, my attitude about what I do and sing as a singer has changed from what I used to dream about. I realized it is not just for enjoyment or and fun. Uh, it is something so much deeper and meaningful than I, um, what I thought. So every time I do something in my job, um, I always remind myself of what this means to me and all the people who listen to or see what I do out there. We're no longer just about young idols having fun and enjoying um, our fame and success, but there is so much responsibility now. So, okay, in conclusion, I mentioned about the recent uh, positive boom of K-pop in our generation, and so it is a sensitive time for us to make sure we make uh, something good out of all of this. It is important to take time to reevaluate during this rise of Korea, uh, rise of K-pop, how we've become and where we are headed for the future. Um, thank you for having me today.